for the dark hours when you dare not close your eyes. Our next tale is entitled Safe, written by McCona McDonald and read by Matt Hansen. Many people have irrational phobias. I have the opposite. My apartment always makes me feel safe, to the point where some might call me crazy. No matter what problems I might have, I don't have to worry as long as I have a locked door and a few tightly shut windows up on the third floor of my complex. Nothing can get in. Nothing can get me here. I'm safe. This is why I didn't particularly care when I first saw her outside my bedroom window. Besides, her appearance wasn't something you typically associate with a horror movie. Her skin was a light, healthy, yellow-white, and she had long, dark amber hair that flowed elegantly behind her, despite not being the least bit affected by the windstorm that was testing the strength of the oak trees. Yes, she was transparent, and yes, she was hovering outside my third-story window, and yes, she was lovingly caressing a long, rusted razor blade. But I was home, and the window was shut, so I was safe. I began to study her, looking up at her face from my seat, and she appeared to do the same. For some reason, her transparency didn't strike me as being odd as much as it should have. In fact, it almost seemed normal. There was definitely something about it that made it seem as if it wasn't supernatural. She certainly didn't appear to be a ghost or a phantom, at least not in the way one normally pictures them. And she wasn't exactly levitating either. She was just standing there, as if on a flat surface which couldn't really be there. She finished studying my own face, nodded to herself, and moved towards the window. She brandished her razor, and then I smelled her. A nauseatingly pungent aroma of flowers being used to mask the odor of decaying corpses. I began to feel uneasy. Was the scent really so intense that I was noticing it through the closed window? No. I felt absolute, sickening fear. All the pieces fell into place. Why her transparency seemed natural. Why she was standing instead of levitating. Why her hair wasn't affected by the wind. Why her lifeless gray skin and sickly hair appeared healthy when bathed in the glow of the yellow light bulb behind me and reflected in the window.